Gymnastics. These round balls are called pneumatuses. They're filled with gas so they float in water. These help the plant float up so it gets the sun it needs to grow. This is a fish bowl that you can eat. Cool, huh? Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! So we're going to try this singer, sent in by Danielle J of San Antonio, Texas. We have to try to hula hoop while holding a cup of water. And we can't spill the water. OK, you guys, you ready? Ready? Yeah. OK. okay so you want to go first, Kim? Sure. OK. okay. Are you well, guys going to hand it to me? Yeah, I'll if, hand you. OK. Here, ready? I'll hand you right? this one. Uh, no, first it's we got Oh, yeah, start with one. Ready? Ready? Whoa. Yeah, Kaylee. Oh, Whoa. you do good Whoa. job. You're doing awesome. You, you haven't, haven't spilled, spilled any. any. Oh, she did it. Good job. Wow, Should I Kayla, stop? you did it. Whoa. You're not even moving your arms at all. You're just like. I know. When I do it, I, I like go like that. I can't just like go like that. Huh. You can stop anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Good job. Good job, job. Kaylee. Okay, I'll, I'll take Kaylee, it. Kaylee, awesome. Okay. Hey, Kenny, want to go next? All right, cool. Here, I'll pass you the water this time. Okay. Ready? Thank you. Okay, ready? <laughs> okay. Okay. Ready? Woohoo! Go, Kenny. You do it. Woo! Oh my gosh, you Oh, I spilled it. He oh, spilled well. a little. Just a little. Let's try it again. Let me try it again. Okay. Here. Here. Oh, 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 it's oh, falling. Oh, oh, that's all right. That's all right. That's okay. You tried. All right, Rachel. Yes. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks. That's hard. Here, do you want I have to get it started first. It's hard because you can't like move your arms, otherwise it like spills me. Okay. Ready? Go. A little hard. There you go. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, one more time. <laughs> okay. 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 I'll hand it to you faster this time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You like tossed it down. <laughs> you were like this. You went. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You got it. You got it. Oh, oh good job. Nice try. Thanks. You guys want to try it with two cups of water? At the same time. <laughs> I know Kaylee, Kaylee yeah. you should Kaylee, try first. you'll do it. Okay, all right. Okay. Do you want to start with one in your hand? We'll each, we'll yeah. Each, how about we each hand our one? Like, can yeah. you do it at different times? Like, yeah. maybe one first yeah. and then... Kaylee, you can go okay, first and then I'll give her mine. Yeah. Oh, oh, go Kaylee. Oh, my goodness. Go Kaylee. Oh, Kaylee. Go Kaylee. Go Kaylee. You did it. Oh. Oh. Awesome. Oh. Oh. Okay, ready? I'm going to let it fall. 
Say, mm, how do you? Oh good job. I don't know. You make I think it look so easy. Awesome. Yeah. Good job. This is a fish bowl that you can eat. Cool, huh? It uses blue gelatin for the water, blueberries for the rocks, and fish cut out of an apple. The idea to make it was sent in by Roger S. of Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts. To make the edible fish bowl, you first need to mix up the gelatin according to the directions on the box. You need boiling water, so you should have an adult help you mix the gelatin. This works best with sugar-free gelatin. One box will make three small fish bowls. All right, so first, you take your cup and you put some blueberries at the bottom. You wanna cover the, oh. <laughs> the blueberries just went everywhere. I think two more blueberries will do it. Actually, there's a lot of space in here. Then, pour the gelatin in slowly so the blueberries don't go everywhere. Ooh, that looks cool. That looks really neat. All right. Some blueberries might float to the top, and if they do, just take them out with your spoon. Oh, I had none float to the top. That's really cool. All right. Then, you put it in the refrigerator until it is half set for about one and a half hours. All righty. Here's one that's partially set. All right. Then take your fishy and put it in the gelatin. The fish doesn't sink to the bottom because the gelatin is already half set. Then, once you've done that, put it back in the refrigerator for about four hours until it is set all the way. And then here's one that's set all the way. It looks like a fishbowl, but you can eat it. Bon appetit. It's kind of slippery. Mmm, that is so yummy. That looks really cool. <laughs> Lots of you have sent us zoomonyms. A zoomonym is a drawing of a phrase where the first letter in each word spells zoom. Can you guess what these zoomonyms are? Here's one that was sent to us by Anna B. of Westminster, Maryland. Okay, guys. What's the first letter? Z. And what do you see? A zoo. Hey. That's one. <laughs> okay. Zoo. Open. Zoo open. Zoo oh. open. Oh. Well, zoo open on Monday. Yeah, <laughs> it's zoo opens on Mondays because well, it's a zoo. So Z? that's Z. Mm -hmm. And then it says open, open on Mondays on the sign. Zoo. zoo. All right. Here's one from Angela K of Montgomery, Alabama. Looks like zigzag. Huh? That's it. Keep going. <laughs> On. <gasps> Zigzags on. I know. Is that moon? Yes. yes. Yeah. Zigzags on. on. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Zigzags, Zigzags on. on. Open. Oh. No, it's not. Orange moon. Orange moon. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Zigzags on. Because there's zigzags on. and then moon. O. Orange O. Moon. M. Zoom. <laughs> okay. The last one is from. Brittany W. of Oak Forest, Illinois. Zoo? Yes. On? No. Over. Zoo, Zoo over. over. Yes. Uh, uh, what's the shape? Octagon moon. Yes! Zoom over octagon moon. Good job, yes. guys. Oh, yeah. Zoo, Z, over, over. O. Yeah, yeah, octagon. O because an octagon has eight sides. So one, two. Three, four, four five, five, six, seven, eight. Like an octopus. Right, like yeah. an octopus. And then moon, moon. is M. Zoom. It's a moon. That's, zoom. That's cool. Good job. Think up some more Zoomonyms and send them to Zoom. You've got to send us email. Send it to Zoom.
my best friend, Sarah. We're here on Catalina Island, California to live out a dream. All this stuff makes it possible to breathe underwater. That's what scuba diving is all about. Let's go diving! This is the Casino Point Underwater Park. All the fish here are protected. We aren't certified, so we are going on our first experience with an instructor. Scuba is wonderful, but it can be dangerous if you do not know what you are doing. Wow, look, what's that in that hole? <gasps> it's an eel. Whoa, better be careful. Hey Tara, look at that. <laughs> This is a really soft sea hair. It looks like a giant snail without a shell. To be a really good diver, you have to understand fluids. After all, you are surrounded by water. Lots of animals live in the kelp. Kelp is a type of seaweed that grows in coastal California. This plant can grow up to two feet per day. Gosh, can you imagine? These round balls are called pneumatises. They're filled with gas so they float in water. These help the plant float up so it gets the sun it needs to grow. Without them, the kelp plant would sink. My buoyancy compensator works the same way. I fill it with gas to help me float. If I add more air to my BC, I go up, just like the kelp plant. Whoa, look at all the fish. The sun shining down on them makes them look like glitter. The big fish are eating all the little guys. When I'm diving, it really just feels like I'm visiting a whole new world. I love scuba diving, and I'm so glad I experienced it with my best friend, Sarah. Hey, Rachel. Yeah, Francis? Why did the fish go to the library? Mm, I don't know. Because they were looking for bookworms. <laughs> Did you know that you can pour air into water? See, the air is forcing the water out of this cup. Lauren M. of Daly City, California sent us this phenom. This cup is filled with air. Turn it upside down and push it into a container filled with water, like this fish tank. If you're doing this at home, you can try it in your bathtub. Now, take another cup and push it into the container, but fill this one with water. Put the two cups close together and then pour the air into the cup filled with water. See? It's like you're pouring air instead of water. Here's what it looks like upside down. Now it really looks like air is pouring into water. This works because the air inside of the cup is a giant bubble. The bubble stays inside of the cup when the cup is turned upside down. But when the cup is tipped, the bubbles move through the water and up into the other cup. Air bubbles always move up in water. That's because they can 